Hello, and welcome to a new Genshin Impact journey. Today, I'm going to be building my first ever Geo DPS, Noelle. I'm actually really excited to build her. Noelle was like by far my favorite of the OG characters. I played her a ton in the beginning of the game, and I've always really liked her playstyle. The only reason I haven't built her up until this point is because I kind of considered pulling for Ito at some points, or building my Ningguang since she's C6 with the cool skin. But I think Noelle's a better option. I've also been putting her off because she's only C5, which really sucks. I mean, C6 is by far her best buff in the game. But it's whatever. I think I'll just build her and hopefully I get the C6 at some point. I have C2 Farina, so that's obviously a huge buff towards Noelle. And I think I'll run Yunjin with her too. Yunjin is my only other Geo character, and she's only Friendship 7. I've barely played her. I only really run her as a child buffer, and she's not even that great for that, but I have a new use case for her now. So I've been looking at options, and I think I'll run Serpent Spine for her weapon. I can get it to R3 just like Deluxe, I just switched them for the time being. And then artifacts are also actually looking really good. I think at this point in the game the Hunter set is probably her best set, and I actually have some really good Noelle ones from when I was farming for Nouvellette. So as you can see, it's like crit stats and defense percentage. So it's looking good. I'm actually really excited. I think there's a good baseline. I'm not sure how much artifact farming I'll do on top of this, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to build her. So I haven't fought this world boss in literally years since I built Yunjin. So we're gonna see how that goes. All right guys, we're pulling up on this Geo Hypostasis right now. I actually fought it once already and the frames were just so shit it was not worth putting in the video. So this is second run. And I apologize if the audio is now too loud. My computer gets pretty loud when I turn its speed up, but it was just like my Noel got one-shotted and the frames were horrible. So hopefully this audio is not too bad, but yeah, this has always been my least favorite of the hypostases. Like this boss is so annoying. I hate breaking these pillars. But we gotta farm it, so. We gotta try to get the achievement where we break all three pillars before it revives. I'm not sure if I can do it with a level 50 Noel or not. Maybe I should have brought D Luke, but we'll try, we'll try. So here we go. Come on. Two, two, come on. No. One more, one more. Ah, we're gonna have to try to get that achievement when we're farming her, but maybe not for a bit. So yeah, it's just gonna be repeating this boss for a while. Hopefully I can get good at it. I, I feel like the pillars are not worth breaking when they're that high of health. Only when it's down. I thought Nubalette would like be able to snipe it up there, but it doesn't work like I thought it did. Alright, there we go. Round number two down. So we got eight of these things. Quite a bit to go. Alright gang, we brought Luke along this time. I want to test if his E might break the pillars faster. So I switched his weapon back obviously, but we'll see. See here, like Nouvellet should be able to snipe that, that really annoys me. Okay, it looks like the E is going to do a little bit to the pillars, so I might be able to get the achievement easier. This boss is just so weird, it feels wrong to me. And this thing is still just spinning in the sky. This is why I hate this boss right here. Alright, come on Diluc. Let's go baby. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. We'll just normal attack this one. And then... Skill... Dash, normal? No, we're so close guys, we're so close. I'm gonna get that achievement throughout this build. I think Diluc is a little bit better than Noel here. And we'll keep running this.
All right, let's start getting her up. I may or may not have forgot that local specialties are a thing. <laughs> so I'm going to go farm some of those, but we'll get her up as far as we can for now. 70, not too bad, not too bad. So we'll probably spam these real quick. Give her like 200 of these, I guess. All right, 70. So yeah, we need these specialties. All right, guys, we got the berries. This will be enough. And I'm just now realizing I don't have her books, which is actually really annoying because I can't just convert all the masks to highest rarity, but whatever. And honestly, I've been thinking about it and I hope this works out guys, because the more I read this, the more I realize how badly it's needed. Like she might just be a support right now. I really hope I can get her C6. I'm going to save up, um, oh, whoops. I'm going to save up these things and hopefully she'll come in this like I only have four right now but I had like a couple hundred like a month ago I just spent them all when our Lakino came out so I'll save up these again and hopefully she comes into this she's definitely not gonna be c6 for the video but I'm just now realizing like she might not be a god noel without c6 it might be that big of a difference but we're still gonna give it a shot I'm just getting a little nervous the more time I put into it but anyways we're gonna keep farming for her keep trying to get her up I think we will convert some of these masks and get her up to like at least 80, maybe even 90. We might just do the, the levels first, honestly, and then go back for talents. I never do it that way, but we'll see. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for day one. Looks like we're going to be able to get her to level 80, I believe. Yep. And then we're going to have to keep farming that boss. I think tomorrow I'll start getting some of the talent books because it will be Sunday. And then we'll probably do a few more of the Geohype of Stacy's too. And I, I think I won't do the weapon in this video. I'll just do that on my own time. We'll just switch it to Deluxe for the, the video purposes. But yeah, pretty successful first day. Level 80, pretty happy with that. Like, I'm a little bit hesitant to get her to 90 without C6, but whatever, man. YOLO. It's Noel. We gotta level her baby. So, I guess we could end the video off with a few few little artifact rolls here let's see what we can get it'd be pretty cool if we could get some, some better crit rate on this oh nice or crit damage i meant to say but we'll take the rate let's see here let's throw a few of these in uh which set which set i guess we'll go with this one Ooh, double all right, we'll take the raid there. Defense, not bad, not bad. I'm just going to burn through this stuff, I guess. Come on. Raid, okay. So she's going to have a really high crit rate, it looks like. I definitely prefer damage, but not looking too shabby, honestly. Defense percentage, got to love that. And well, we might as well get 20, right? Let's see here. We'll just throw these in, I guess. And attack. All right, that's that's kind of bummy, but crit rates are not looking too bad, or crit values, I should say. I would like to get the damage up because hunter set obviously increases the rate. So yeah, not too bad though. And her defense is like really high percentage-wise, so looking pretty good. Man, I would love that C6 right here, though, right? Come on. Noel for the video. No. All right. That's going to be it for day one, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.
What's up guys and welcome back. It is now day three, so I actually decided not to do a voiceover for day two just because literally all I did was form, farm talent books. But anyways, we're here for day three. We just finished grinding that stupid Geo boss, so hopefully I don't have to fight that thing again for a while. But look at this, we can actually get her up to 90, so that's pretty cool. Only three days to get her to 90. And I was just looking and we're literally out of hilly trail masks now so we got to 90 that's cool and talents we can't get up at all because of these guys so i'm gonna go grind some fights on these guys uh, i might do it again tomorrow and then we'll get into the damage test but i want to get her talents leveled up a little bit at least you know and then yeah we'll do the damage test i'm thinking this will probably be the team i run i've considered swapping out bennett for raiden for a little bit more sub dps i'm not sure which one will be better but really, I'm just excited to see Noelle in action. First Geo DPS, baby. Her crit ratio is looking pretty decent, as I showed you guys. I don't love the damage. I wish I could get it to over 200%. But I don't think I'll put too much more resources into her, so... I'll look around my account, but I don't think I'll really use Resin. I think she's going to be good enough as is. I mean, she's got some pretty, pretty good defensive stats and crit rate, crit damage. I would like the damage a little higher, but... Yeah, we'll go farm these hilly churls, and then we'll get into the damage test, see if we actually built ourselves a good Noel. Alright guys, we're back and we're ready for the damage test. It's been about a week actually since the last segment. I ended up getting super sick and I literally completely lost my voice. So sorry if I sound a little off. But I was able to get these talents up to a decent level in that time. Artifacts are the same. But honestly, it's not a bad build. So obviously she's C5, that's the biggest downfall. But let's go do the damage test. Maybe we have a C5 God Noel. I literally haven't even tested her yet. Alright, we're gonna try the Hunter Domain first. I'm super hyped to try this team, actually. I've never had an excuse, really, to use my Yun Jin, because I don't use Child that much in the first place. And so I'm hyped to have a Geo team. And let's see how we can do on this. I feel like that's a really good domain to test things. So we're just gonna try a full Farina rotation here. So we'll go Farina, Yun Jin, Bennett. I should probably do Yunjin for or after Bennett, but all right, here we go. We just got a nice little 30, 37, 40. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to stay in the circle. All right, looking pretty good. Pretty solid, like basic DPS damage. I feel like nothing too crazy, but not bad either. Ooh, look at Yunjin, 23k. I was not expecting that. Alright, we're running it back. We're gonna try Bennett then Yunjin this time. Alright, here we go. Nice little 30. Ooh, 45. I think that's highest yet. 
I think it's better to do Bennett second, just because I think the circle is a bigger buff. Yeah. So she's doing less here. Honestly, though, for a four star that's not even C6, she's playing pretty well. And Yoon Jin is actually impressing me, too. She's consistently hitting 20k skills. Okay, I think it'll be cool to test her on this new domain with the Geo guys, because I'm always just relying on Animo Shred against them. But the annoying part is going to be taking out these stupid shielded Mita Churls or whatever they're called. I don't really want to waste the ults here. So let's just try to take these guys out real quick. But yeah, usually I just like rely on Kazuha and Jean to shred these Geo guys' resistances. So like, I'm interested to see how this goes. Let's see. And yeah, we're going to do Yujin before Ben. I think that works better. Alright, let's see here. Okay, we broke the shield. Yeah, that's cool. You can break the shields on these guys. I'm used to just relying on Animo Shred. 42, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty solid, guys. Definitely better than I expected. She's not, like, better than my Nouvellette or something, but for, like, a 4-star DPS option, actually very nice. Alright, one last thing I wanted to test. This might go horribly, because I haven't fought Ozdeha in, like, months and months, but I want to test it because, I've, like I said, like, Yunjin is my only previous Geo character, and I literally, like, built her for Child and then also, like, for Ozdaha, just to have some type of Geo shield, because I've never been a Geo Traveler fan, but let's see here. Okay, we, looks like we can get the rotation going. He's gonna absorb, though, is the only thing. I'm not gonna use Yunjin here, I guess. Yeah, I shouldn't have popped that, because he's about to absorb, yeah. But I can see the shield. Oh, no, I can't. Get out, get out, get out. See, I don't even remember this guy's moves. <laughs> Alright, let's see him absorb here. And let's test out this shielding stuff. So I've, I've mostly just fought this without a shield, just brute force my way through it. But this is not looking great right now. I need a shield. Uh... Okay, like I said, not the best testing environment, but yeah, this is not going great. I mean, she can obviously do it, but yeah, she's looking pretty good. This was definitely not the best one to test her on, but she's looking solid. So I'm pretty happy with my build. Fun little four-star DPS build. First Geo DPS. I now have a Geo team I can run. I'm pretty happy about it. The one thing I will say that's kind of a bummer about Noelle is, like, her only Geo infusion is obviously with her burst, which is kind of lame. Kind of makes it so, like, she's not great for overworld and stuff like that. But I'll definitely be playing this team, and it was just a fun journey with you guys. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been a long one, a lot of editing, but it's been a blast being here with you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And remember, stay healthy, stay consistent, and just do what you gotta do.